When setting up an assignment marked with a rubric, there is a subtlety that uh, so I only myself just cotton down to. I've got some kind of a lab report. I'll have some kind of a description down here. I'm going to go ahead and have it a uh, file upload as my submission. I'll go ahead and uh, I typically for my lab reports have this unlimited and I can have a a due date set that up and I'll save that my Now, at this point, I can add the rubric uh, to this uh, lab report here. And what I had been doing was saying, use this rubric for assignment grading. And then I was going to find a rubric, which, which works. Let me grab one of my existing current rubrics. Uh, a data exploration rubric, that's good there. It's not the right rubric, but that's okay. And then I was simply saving this, uh, well, saved already. But actually, this rubric is not going to be used for grading. I've now learned that I have to click on the pencil and go back and click it here. Use this rubric for assignment grading. Update the rubric. And that will remind you to change it. This rubric will now actually connect to the grades. This does let you, as I've discovered, have a rubric and then give an assignment a different score than what the rubric gives it and should you need that flexibility it's there but in my courses the rubric marks are the points that go in for the assignment there's no difference so uh, th those two are symmetric so I want to do that so it's this new thing I've learned is this that I have to go in and after I've attached the uh, rubric select this again and it only appears when you go to edit the rubric, even though you're not editing the rubric. Indeed, it says you're going to update it. I haven't actually technically touched the rubric, so it's a slightly misleading uh, ap approach. Those, those options, it seems, shouldn't disappear because I'm not actually editing the rubric. Uh, but then again, this is all this business of editing a rubric is how you copy a rubric. You take an existing rubric. And when you go to edit it, it will tell you you can't edit it, but you can make a copy, and that's how you get your copy done. So that's just a quick look at uh, how you get a rubric marks to flow automatically into the grade. You can still grade things, uh, but you have to manually retype the score from the rubric into the grade if you don't check that box.